I want to share a quick update on the Firefly 6 project. Now you can see that I've actually pulled out my NASA V2. I have Pixhawk in here getting ready to configure it. You guys probably saw the garage hover with this guy. It was incredible, super stable. I was literally about an hour away from getting into the field and doing a forward flight test. But went in to check my email. I had an email from Adam Sloan at Bird's Eye View and he mentioned that some of the Firefly 6 users have been having problems when transitioning from forward flight to hover mode with the NASA V2. Now if you're flying a light or a V1, apparently there's not as much trouble. But when he referred to the transition as violent in his email, I decided, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and make this similar to the Firefly 6 Pro setup, which has Pixhawk in it. So gonna be covering that in some upcoming videos, but I wanna share a quick trick that I learned from the Bird's eye view guys, if you're not familiar with these Castle Creation multi-rotor ESCs, I'm definitely new to them, but you can actually reverse the motor rotation without having to re-solder two of your three leads. And you may or may not know this, but when you go from NASA to Pixhawk, all of your motor rotations are basically opposite. So I wanna demonstrate using this Castle Link module, which is separate from the actual ESC, so I need to purchase that separately. It comes with a cable, but using this, and their Castle Link software, we can reverse the motor rotation. Let me just demonstrate real quick how these spin, just so you know. I'm gonna go into forward flight mode. And I'm gonna give a little throttle. See the top is spinning counterclockwise and the bottom spins clockwise. So let's go ahead and reverse those. I've connected the Castle Link USB cable to my Mac and then plugged in the Castle Link module to the other end of the USB connector. I've already gone ahead and installed Castle Link. You get that from castlecreations.com. Go ahead and launch it. You see down here it shows that the USB is connected but the device is not currently linked. And with no power to the ESC, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the three pin connector on the Castle Link. You'll see that the Castle Link software automatically recognizes the ESC type, tells me a new beta firmware version is available. For now, I'm not gonna mess with that. And as you can see, there are a lot of options with our throttle, brake, cutoffs, so forth. You can configure a lot of cool things with these ESCs, but the main thing we're concerned with is motor. And then if you go down here, you'll see direction. They basically have forward and reverse. So I'll just go ahead and select reverse. Then I'll click update. I'll disconnect the Castle Link module and then go ahead and plug back in our servo extension cable. So previously we were spinning counterclockwise. Let me go ahead and get into forward flight. Give it just a little throttle and you should see it go clockwise. And we are spinning in clockwise rotation. So updating motor rotation and other ESC parameters is super easy. There is a little bit of overhead in installing the software, getting things set up, but once you're configured, you have the ability with the Castle Creation ESCs to update firmware, to set different parameters as you saw. And I'm a big fan so far, just because of the capabilities you have through software. So I'm looking forward to getting this wiring disaster cleaned up, everything hovering well, and then we'll go do forward flight now with the Pixhawk. So thank you guys for following along. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.